Hello everyone, it's Joanna. Welcome to my channel. I am filming Vlogmas, but on days where I don't have something that's like vloggy style, I'm going to be filming content and this is probably one of the Vlogmas content days. It is a good old haul, makeup, skincare haul. I love watching these because I like seeing what people buy and hearing impressions and why they bought them. Some of these things are repurchases, so things that I got. Uh, these are things that I bought in October, November, Black Friday sale, things like that. <laughs> there are a lot of things. I spent quite a bit of money, but eh, whatever. Um, I use all these products. <laughs> there are quite a few lipsticks i think that's my thing you know how when you're a beauty lover you have some kind of problem you hoard stuff for me it's lipsticks um so yeah grab yourself a cup of coffee i'm having a decaf cappuccino with a little bit of toffee syrup get ready for perfume hair care skin care makeup eye palettes lipsticks just loads of stuff. Most of these things are from Cult Beauty, Look Fantastic, a few things are from Boots and Sephora Greece because I went to Sephora in Greece in October and I didn't film so let's just go in and begin. So I have unfortunately missed my appointment so my hair is <laughs> silver fox sad silver fox uh i'm getting my hair done on the 21st of december so yeah but i'm always looking for a shampoo for my hair and since i spend a ton of money on getting my hair colored and done i think it's, it's good to invest in shampoo so i've been using the philip kingsley bodybuilder shampoo and i really like it but i wanted to try because i read i think it was in the caroline hirons um facebook group about uh, the Redken Color Extend Magnetic. So I bought the um, shampoo and the conditioner during the Black Friday sale. I hope I don't like it because then I'll probably end up buying it. So these are the two things that I bought. Let me just see with the claims. So you, it's um, a color treatment for hair. It's for color treated hair and it helps extend the color. Let's see. I will try these. I will see how they feel. I saw lots of good reviews about them, which is why I I bit the bullet bullet, the bullet during the Black Friday sale and bought that. Now a perfume that I got back in October and I'm I've been using quite a bit and I haven't even like used enough is it looks like it hasn't gone down is the um, Lancome La Vie Belle rose so I love anything that is rose scented this is like uh I think it has peony in it and it's it smells like a rosy powdery scent so it's not overpowering rose but I just love the scent it it, it lasts all day a little bit goes a long way and if you're looking for a perfume for someone who loves rose powdery scents check this out this is the 50 ml and uh, just and you know you just put a bit and I've been using it since October and it's like I haven't used it at all um all right I'm wondering where I should go let's go to some general makeup products before I move on to lips because they're like seven lip products <laughs> so i got in greece because this was on sale the twist eyeshadow from uh core we say core some people say cores i don't know i'm gonna say core because that's what i know i think this is a pinky color i forgot i need to ask but i don't remember so this is what it is if you can see this tell me what it is i might forget to ask so I'm colorblind. And so this is got this has got volcanic hmm, volcanic minerals. It's intense color, long lasting, 24 power of 24 hour wear 
waterproof, made in Athens, Greece, and this is number 68 or 89. Not 100% sure, but it is it is a nice metallic. I'm not wearing um, any eyeshadow today because I have conjunctivitis, but that's what it looks like. And I just like wearing, um, you know, for one and done kind of eyeshadow looks here. You can you can smoke it out a bit as well. I just love wearing um, eyeshadows for one and done. Actually, it kind of disappears. So, hmm. Let's see how that works when you, maybe you shouldn't be smoking it out. But if you do, this is what you're going to get. So I'm just rubbing my finger on it. And this is what you might end up with, some kind of washed colour. So I love you. I like using eye stylos because I can't see well. And these are so easy to, you know, just go on your eye and you are sorted. Okay. Now, again from... Sephora, Greece. I got the Natasha Denona Bloom palette. They were having a 15% off, not Bloom palette, Bloom uh, blush. They were having 15% off, so I thought, mm, okay, that's my excuse. It's quite big. It is how many? Um, let's see. It is um, four grams. And this is what the colour looks like. How beautiful is that? I think it's hard to show blush. But let me just put a bit here. I don't know if you'll be able to see. And a little bit here. Over on my... I usually use <laughs> a brush. Oh my god! I'm going to go fix my face. So I've just blended it in a little bit. I don't know if you can see, but it is quite pigmented if you go in with your finger. So don't use your finger. Um, so yeah, this is a shiny, um, shiny blush. It's called a highlighter blush. Let me just put some on my hand to see if it's glittery. That's what I want to check. So when you look carefully at it, you can see a little bit of shimmer. So there you go. Yeah, I don't know if you can see. There's a little bit of shimmer in there, but nothing too bad. I'm okay with that. So, you know, when you're going out or something like that and you want a little bit of a va va voom on your face, I think that's a nice uh, product. And I will come back, though, because I haven't used it that much because this isn't actually first impressions. This is just things I got some of these I can tell you impressions because I've already used them and I've repurchased but yeah so the bloom Natasha Denona I, I love her eyeshadow palettes and that's why I decided to bite the bullet and get um, a blusher now when I was at the Lancome counter I also bought a uh, intense stylo and color intense this is in number two it's a goldy colour. Let me just show you. Great for the holidays again. One and done. I think this is a light colour. So let's just see. Oh, there you go. So this is just for all over. Quite beigey, sorry, not goldy. And it's just for all over. Really pinky all over the eye just to give a little bit of a shine I don't know if you can see that but I can see a little bit of a shine to it just great for all over the eye these are quite long lasting there I don't know can you see that these are quite long lasting very soft very creamy when I touch it it's quite creamy so yeah this is the shade that I got and it comes, I think, with a sharpener, yeah, so you can sharpen your eye stylo. I never know how to do that, but apparently you can sharpen them. So that's the stylo I got. And then, since we're talking about eyes, I heard a lot about the Too Faced uh, 
Cinnamon Swirl Eye Palette. So I got it and this is it. Let me just show you colours. I got this from Boots. Um, here we are. So these are the colours. There are some pretty, I think this has got like pinks and golds and coppers and things like that. So these are the colours. Let me just try and swatch a few so you can see what they look like. So I'm doing this one, this one. Some have uh, glitter. Some are more like shimmery. So yeah, there are some of the colours on my hand and this is the pan so that's another palette that I bought but as I said I can't put any eyeshadow on because I've got conjunctivitis so yay um moving on let's see what else I got again from Sephora I got the mask visage cam uh, camel cinnamon face mask this I just love the scent of cinnamon and I just love doing face masks and during Christmas when I'm going to have lots of time I will uh, use this face mask so I, I like the Sephora face masks so this is one that I wanted to try and I got it and then I got from Look Fantastic when they were having their sale again the It Cosmetics Hello Results. This is a wrinkle reducing daily retinol serum cream. So I want to use a little bit more. So I'm 45. I think my skin's okay. Turning 46 in January. I don't have lots of wrinkles, but I do use retinol products. Not too strong. And, and I just, you know, I finish one product, I get a new one. So I'm running out of my retinol at the moment. I'm using the Indeed retinol. So... I thought I'd get a few products that have retinol, so you'll see a few retinol products now. And I thought this had uh, good reviews. Let me just get my amazing little magnifier so I can tell you what it says. So not at all related to makeup, but as I said, I'm, I, I can't see colour and I'm partially sighted. So I went to the hospital and they gave me a coil magnifier. This is amazing. This makes it so easy to read stuff. So let me just say, tell you what this says. Because when I look at this, I can't read it. But with this, I can. So say hello to young, look, younger looking skin. If you want to improve the look of fine lines, wrinkles, discoloration, yes please, and the feeling of loss of elasticity, elasticity and firmness uh, without complicating your skincare routine, I like that, wrinkle, daily retinol, um, combines a, a serum, blah, blah, blah. So it has vitamin E and B5 and it is, it penetrates quickly. So great. I am looking forward to trying this and so happy with my magnifier. Now, so that's that. I also got uh, the Ordinary Retinol 05 in squalene. I said squalene. I think it's great to buy retinol with something in it because you need to nourish and hydrate your skin. And I know squalene is great for hydration because retinol can irritate. So I got the 0.5 and in the Ordinary. I like the Ordinary products. Quite affordable and, you know, if you're starting with different ingredients, it would be good to start with um, that. So, yeah. So, one of the YouTubers I watch, and I love her recommendation, is Miss Gold Girl. She uses this, and she said it plumps up her line. So, I just want to use it here for my 11s. <laughs> so, I got the L'Oreal Revitalift Filler 1.5 Hyaluronic acid anti-wrinkle serum which visibly hydrates and smooths replumps wrinkles i've heard a lot about the l'oreal line and l'oreal is a company that uh, hosts skin suiticals so wondering if some of the products and the formulas are similar so really looking forward to trying this i'm going to get back to you i'm going to start using this as of 
this evening. So if you see me at the end of Vlogmas looking all wrinkle-free and 10 years younger, it might be this. Or this. <laughs> so yeah, one a goodie and an oldie that I bought during the sale is my Clinique Moisture Surge. I just love this product. This is amazing. If you have dry skin, dry patches, and you have not tried this, I don't know why. This just goes on my skin and it just smooths, smoothens it out <laughs> really quickly. Amazing product. Strongly recommend. Since we were talking about retinol, let's finish with more retinol. I got to try, I think the best thing about Christmas and the worst thing about Christmas is that you get all these gift sets. So you get to try different things. So I bought the Pixie Retinol gift set. So this comes with, uh, it comes with the cleansing cloths, the retinol jasmine cleanser, retinol tonic and lotion. So I'm going to try all these products. I have used the Pixie tonic before and my skin does not react badly to it. So I thought, hey, let's get some more Pixie retinol products. So because I am running out of my retinol creams and stuff, I have a few backups now. Um, I'm going to film an empty. So I'll let you know about how the products I used have been performing. Back to Sephora. I got the Sephora Glossed uh, Lip Duo just for when I want to wear a lip gloss. So you get, I heard about these, so that's why I wanted to try these. So you get this color, which I have no idea what it is. I'm guessing it's a pinky color. And this color, which is clear, I can see that. Let's apply some and let's see what this looks like. How much gloss? Oh yeah, there is a bit of gloss. It is not sticky and it is comfortable. It feels like an oil actually. Hmm, I like this. When you're wearing like a dry lippy and you want your lips to look juicy, I think a good way to go is with a gloss. So looking forward to using this. Um, and this is the other Sephora. Let me just see if I can swatch this and see what comes out. How pigmented is this? Oh, it is quite pigmented. There you go. Hmm, not bad. Okay, so opaque, opaque. Oh, I'm, yeah. So you can see that that gloss has quite a bit of color, quite a bit of punch to it. So great, 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 great. I bought the Hangover Pillow Balm and I've already given away some of these so I don't have all of them but I can show you the three I do have. I have this one here, this darker one here and this one here and these are, um, they have, I don't really enjoy wearing these so because they have, while it doesn't say they have that peppermint tingly thing so they're supposed to be a lip balm they don't feel like a lip balm they feel more like a gloss oil thing so yeah they're all right I wouldn't repurchase they are from the pillow balm line wouldn't repurchase they are quite pigmented though and if you like tingly you know plumping glasses this might be your thing so that's what it looks like. There you go. So, um, yeah, lip balms, not really lip balms, more like a liquid gloss, liquid eyeshadow or something like that. I also got, because I wanted to buy balms, so this is a balm thing now. I also got the Pucker Up and Peace Out by um, Benefit. Again, these are lip balms, but I actually think that these are balms. I'll just show you. You get three. They're different colours, so you get this one. And then, sorry about the colour description. I don't have one at the moment, but if you see colours, let me know. Um, and then you get this darker one. Let me just swatch these and see what they look. Ooh! That is, 
that is like a lipstick. It feels balmy. I'll try these and let you know. I'm going to wear these during Vlogmas. And then you get this one as well. And another. Okay. Well, that's a bit shiny. Let's see what that looks like. Okay. There you go. So these are the lip balms. They look more like lipsticks to me. They are quite, that one, this one's very shiny, this one. I'm looking forward to trying that. Um, they feel balmy. I don't know about the staying power and all that, but this is a balmy lipstick. This is not a balm. This is a liquid, and this has tingly stuff in it, which I am not a fan of. So I don't know what I'm going to do with all of these. Probably going to use them and declutter at some point unfortunately so that was a wah, wah, wah. okie dokie something that i love and i had to buy because i love this line is the clinique pop uh you get five clinique pops they're not in the in the packaging you normally get your clinique pops but they are full-size lippies and you get which ones let's get my magnifier out and let me go through the uh, lipsticks you get. So this one is Cherry Pop. Ooh, nice. Red. I'm guessing. Beautiful red. I don't have this one. This one is... What is this one called? This is called Mocha Pop. Yeah, Mocha Pop. Hmm. Hang on, let me just double check. So this is Mocha Pop. I think that's probably like a brown. Then you get... Bum, bum, bum. You get... What is this? Um, berry Pop? Oh, I don't have Berry Pop either. So that's pretty... Oh, that's nice for now. <laughs> I'm going to be wearing that a lot. And you also get, what else do you get? You get Rose Pop, which I do have. Oh no, that's not Rose Pop. I'm, I haven't read this correctly. You get this one, which is, let me see what it is. Nude Pop, not Rose Pop, Nude Pop. Don't have Nude Pop either. And finally, you get, um, what do you get? Um, Bear Pop, which is another nudie colour, which I actually do have. So this is probably going to go in a giveaway later on or being given as a gift. I shall decide. Probably going to go in a giveaway then. So stay tuned. Uh, so yeah, I had, I don't have most of these and I'm really pleased because this is one of my favorite formulas if you like uh, a hydrating nourishing lippy you definitely should check the Clinique pop line and finally because we're talking about lip products I wanted to get some YSL during Black Friday and I did and I bought this with that comes this is limited edition it comes with the two caps and you get the number one and the number nine i think let me just show you this is number nine which is this color here nice dark i think this is like a pinky color that's gonna be nice and when you put your top on it this is what it looks like so there you go so that's that and you also get the number one which is the red so great for the holidays let me just open this one and show you the red for YSL and you put on this top and you have your two little YSLs so 
one more product finally I got lip balm I got this last year and I really enjoyed it and I bought it again because you get two for 24 pounds or 25 it's a lip so sweet uh, Estee Lauder you get the lip balm and a lip oil treatment and I used this and this lasted a very long time so I repurchased it because I just like putting on before I go to bed uh, lip masks and things like that as you know I have a lip <laughs> obsession so these are all the products I'm going to update you through vlogs and stuff on how these are working for me I think out of the out of all these things the things that I'm really excited about are the you know the lippies the Clinique one the YSL one I'm really pleased with the gloss I'm really looking forward to trying these balms. I think the, um, the um, Too Faced lip sets, they're all right, but they're not for me because of the um, tingliness. And then I actually might put this one in a giveaway since I haven't touched it. And then I'm really looking forward to just trying this. I'll get back to you with this skincare product and the shampoos. So, and, and the perfume, great stuff. So yeah, these are all the things I have for you. If you enjoy this video, give it a thumbs up. If you like to hear more about this, subscribe to my channel, trying to grow, it would be great. And you know, sorry if I made a few mistakes. Stay safe everyone, happy holidays, and I'll see you tomorrow because as I said, there's Vlogmas and there's vlog content videos.